Hi there, I'm Justin Dyke from CartoonSmart.com and uh, we're going to learn in this series of videos is how to make a customizable emoji app uh, for iMessages. So you can see that we're inside of the uh, Messages app in the simulator uh, on an iPhone and uh, you've got this little drawer down here where you can uh, customize an emoji. But let's go ahead and uh, fold this up into expanded mode so you get kind of a better idea of what's going on. And uh, I've, uh, I haven't run this yet on this uh, particular device so we're basically uh, kind of in the most basic mode where you've uh, you've never edited anything and we're going to edit our own emoji right so we're going to start with this guy over here let's go and edit him and you can see that uh, he now comes uh, <laughs> zooming down with a fabulous saying next to him you can scroll up and choose from any old saying you want well that are in here and you can move these around you can uh, you can even uh, rotate them so for example you know, rotate this guy a little bit. Maybe we'll rotate the happy birthday. And all these um, changes that we make are actually getting sa saved to the user default. So anytime they open up this app, these uh, changes are still going to be there. So I could scale this thing, right? Go back and forth. And uh, and let's say that's good enough, right? So now I'm going to go and send uh, this creation. And you can see this this now gets attached uh, to the message. You can type in anything you want below. But uh, what's really cool is that when you have your app icon in here, that app icon is going to show up. And uh, anybody that doesn't already have this app, if they click on the message that gets sent, here I can just send it, uh, it is, uh, it's going to go to your particular app in the app store. So it's very viral, um, you know, and obviously you could charge for this. And, uh, and then if uh, the person already does have that app, if they click on it, it's just going to open up this app uh, so they could even, you know, re reply with something else that they've made, right? Uh, and you can see now that, uh, now that I've actually edited this one, I can resend this emoji as many times as I want. Just to, so basically create this neat little library of uh, images with, uh, you know, custom sayings that uh, can be uh, resent. So let's go ahead and just do it one more time. So I'm gonna go over here, edit emoji. And you'll see it too that um, if I now go back to the uh, the one that I was just tinkering with before, all those settings are still saved over there, right? And uh, let's just do it one more time. Actually, you'll notice that even if you don't send your creation and you just uh, go back out of the expanded mode down to the compact mode, it's gonna save uh, what you're currently working on and you can just resend or send that um, you know, as you wish. So. Sounds pretty cool, right? And it's actually not that difficult. So uh, it's a great introduction uh, to working with an iMessage app, but it's also a great introduction to just playing around with Swift 3. And most of the things that you learn in this uh, really don't even have to apply to an iMessage app. That's uh, sending the, this message right here. It's something that really just occurs toward the end of the videos. Uh, so if you just want to you know, learn about setting up UI buttons, picker views, all sorts of good stuff, uh, it is in this series. Uh, so I hope you watch it.